Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is a DIY video, how to unclog kitchen drain. So this issue is a fix if you determine it's a light grease clog, okay? Okay, before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon if you want to be notified new videos. And I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. Okay, so we have a problem with our drain. You notice the water doesn't really flow that well. And if you have a lot of water, it's going to take a long time to go down the drain. So that's the problem we're seeing right here. I'm just showing with the faucet on and see how slow it drains. But if you have a lot of water, like if you pour a pot of water into the, the sink, it will not drain. In our case, we did a little troubleshooting over here. So we put a lot of water in there and you see these uh, bubbles, I would say, come up and it's like grease. You know, and it also bubbles, but it still goes. It's not the worst point ever, right? It's going to get a lot worse over time. So we're having a backup drain problem. And then the logical choice maybe say, hey, you know, maybe there's grease because you see the grease bubble and then you put dishwasher soap, right? Put a lot of dishwasher soap in there. Maybe it will degrease it or something, right? And also it gets all over your hand like I have in my case while I'm filming. It's pretty nasty overall. You have dishwasher soap when you're just trying to fix the drain problem. So the first try, does it really work with dishwasher soap? Well, I'm gonna show you that because it's also one of those things, if it's greasy, we use dishwasher soap and fix the problem, right? You know, and it doesn't really fix it, just to tell you that right now. I do wanna show that, so, you know, dispel any mist that will come up this thing. So the next thing we wanna do is actually try with hot water from this, the faucet, right? Try all the hot water you want from the faucet. You already got it on hot, right? Rinsing with hot water. And also, you might still have some dishwasher soap in, in the drain as well, too. Would that fix the problem? Well, let's see. Well, the hot water doesn't really hurt it, but let's put more dishwasher soap in there, right? And I know dishwasher soap costs money and hot water costs money. I know that. But it's still cheaper than calling a plumber. And you can see that the water is... Still not draining as fast. It's still getting a little backed up overall. So, and again, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's actually steam coming out of the hot water right now. So it's going down the drain, and you know it's not really fast at all. And it might appear a little bit better, but I tried it more, and you can see it's getting backed up again. And if you have a lot of water, just imagine a lot of water, and you want to drain the kitchen drain, it won't go. See, you can see it's slowing. And in fact, if you turn on the other side, the water will back up in the other drain as well. The drain I have, both drains go down the same kitchen sink, the P-trap, okay? So I have a lot of stuff under there, so I don't need to show that. But it's a P-trap, and what happens is the water gonna get all backed up. So the solution actually is to boil water, right? And we already tried two pots already. This is the third pot. And you know, since they all go down the same P trap, it doesn't really matter in reality which one you pour it into. But you could pour it into one on the left or one on the right, you know, but make sure your water is nicely boiled. Maybe get a pot this size and or even bigger, right? As long as you could pour it down the drain. It's still cheaper than calling a plumber for something that's very simple to do. So after two pots, we found it's working. So we put three pots in there and it's definitely gonna work. So the thing you gotta know is this is only works for grease, you know, light grease, okay? If you have a lot of grease and maybe like fried chicken oil or something like that, yeah, that may be a point that you have to call somebody, right? So we're not pouring those kind of oil in there. Then that's all you're doing. You need to pour hot water in there and let it drain. And you can pour some on this side as well too, but basically they're going down the same pea trap, you know? And you could turn on the garbage disposal if you like, you know, in this case. And now we're going to fill it up with water. Notice the water, it doesn't back up anymore, right? It's a lot faster. And, you know, you pour in this side. You see that I'm pouring in this side. It doesn't come out the other side. So we're having that kind of issue. Our dishwasher was also backed up as well, too. They all connect. The garbage disposal is where the dishwasher connects to. And they share the same P-trap with the, the left side. So you notice that I'm demonstrating that the issue is fixed right now. And it actually took me three days to get this doll to work. 
So the magic of YouTube, it seems like a very simple solution. So if you're do it, do it yourself person, boil some water, pour it down the drain. Only if it's a grease issue, you can easily solve it yourself without calling the plumber. You know, this is a simple fix. But if something harder, you still need to call the plumber, you can. Hope this helps you out. I really appreciate a thumbs up. And I see you next time.